Hi there. Nice to meet you. My name is Tony, and welcome to the shoe shop. What are you looking for today? Is there anything I can help you with? You want women's and men's shoes? Okay. So you're picking out some for gifts and family members. Alright, that's fine. Well, we have a wide selection on our racks. Um, where you happen to be interested in the clearance rack? Great, because that's right next to me and that's convenient and I'm organizing those as we speak. So I don't have to keep running back and forth to this back of the store, you know? Yeah. But if you were at any time interested, of course I could do that. Now, um, we just ran out of shoe boxes, believe it or not, on these shoes. Um, we usually like to store empty ones in the back. And um, we just ran out. Um, we have boxes, obviously, for the other shoes on the regular racks, but not the clearance. So, is that okay for you? Alright, excellent. Um, you don't need any bags or anything? Okay, great. We're trying to go green, so you know, no plastic. But I'm just going to get started, whatever's on the top, but no particular order, um, and show you them all. There's not too many, so hopefully we can get through this at a reasonable time. Alright, so here are the first pair. These are a woman's pair of shoes. And um, instead of showing you both, because they're literally the same, just left foot, right foot, you know. <laughs> um, these are They have um, kind of what looks like a um, what do you call crochet knitting around. Um, they're totally in right now, and they have these super long white uh, threaded laces. If I can find the other one, yeah, there we go. So they're on the inside. Some people that bothers them, so you can always um, take out the stitching and uh, replace them or change up the lace. A different color. Usually people put blue or pinks. Um, we just ran out of those actually too. Yeah. Can you believe it? Um, even the socks. Yeah. Like <laughs> many people left today because of that. They're like, oh, no laces, no socks, just shoes, no, not even boxes, no bags, nothing. Um, they don't like that concept, but um, these are actually at least double, triple the price. Um, we just put them on clearance because people were barely used. There's no scent or anything. It's just, is what it is. I mean, it's the same at Goodwill, right? <laughs> People buy more from there than here. Uh, but you can see the stitching. It's very nice and has this stripe here. Uh, this is by Rocket Dock. And the bottom sole, which is so um, sturdy, supportive, and flat. And these are super comfortable. black checkered pattern print on the bottom with the orange logo to recognize the brand with. And it's a closed toe shoe, but very, very um, soft padding on the inside and the top here by the toes. It's not tight or uncomfortable for most people. And more than enough space at the heel, so um, I really recommend this shoe, actually. Uh, these go for 20 right now. Alright, next up I have these men's Andrew Fezzas. They're Italian pair of dress shoes and they're super cool looking, right? They have a nice um, blue color to them. Kind of leathery sort of material, not really, but the creamy white stitching all around. Um, the inside is a dark um, caramel color. Looking exterior with a black bottom. Very wide at the front and back, almost equal widths at the heel and the toes. Um, that's something that's very popular about this brand and the fact that it is uh, taller at the front here, I mean at the back than the front, uh, gives it that unique shape. Be a great quality in these type of shoes. Um, 
The only downside is with the wrong pair of socks or foot size, it may be uncomfortable. But of course, um, we also do custom fitting for you at any time. Uh, just give us three business days to finish your order request. And it's only $20 per show to resize. Order new ones. Per your demand. So, yeah. It's a great one. Now we have these. Women's slipper. Uh, kind of Jessica Simpson vibes uh, with this uh, gold leaves here for the front to enclose the top and create a sturdy, comfortable support. Um, these are eight and a half Rayleigh's and a nice creamy white. supporting the heel so you don't completely slip off. It's not quite an open sandal, but enough gripping can be slippery. People have claimed that they've felt these, so I'd be careful not to go running in them, of course, but up close you can see the um, nice beige color at the bottom. It matches really well with the entire slipper. It just looks great from above, from all angles, really. bit of elevated support so you don't quite feel like you're killing your feet flat on the ground, if you know what I mean. Um, so it's a perfect one to uh, style and match with any outfits. A great gift for anyone. These just go at 15. And I know it's a steal, literally. Okay, these next ones I have a feeling you will like as well. Memory foam. Topsider Sperry's. Uh, these are one of my personal favorites as well. And uh, because of the quality stitching, the quality in general of the shoe. And uh, these laces have blue and gray to match with the blue interior and the gray exterior here, as well as the stripe. amount of grip, elevated support. Again, to make you not feel like you're crawling on the ground like a bug. <laughs> uh, and comfort. And its own unique style, as Barry does best. And more than plenty of lace. I wish they were a bit more generous with the lace, honestly. Um, just like maybe a couple more inches, but uh, they usually do a good job with that. Complain too much. I mean, uh, this would normally go for 60. I'm giving this for 45 at this time, and this is um, a size nine as well. So uh, most of these are actually. That's a pretty common size to wear in men's. So I think the average foot size is 10. I'm not sure though, honestly, but I think seven in women's as well. Don't you agree? for anyone nonetheless since you're thinking about family and all. Alright, these next scream cowgirl. <laughs> Western cowgirl. Um, these are quite outdated to be real with you. However, people still find them unique so they would still uh, pick them to go and pair with any type of uh, clothing, especially if you have like a snake skin kind of uh, pant, uh, that would go great with it. These are Wesleyan companies in seven and a half, and a 
very tall heel the wide base support so you don't feel like you're going to drop <laughs> well, I can't say these are the boots with the fur but close enough In fact, um, they appear due to the color, the nude uh, color, to be quality, but these are literally only 10 bucks. Um, they are absolutely a steal. And my favorite is the bronze bottom padding. And it goes so efficiently. tightness to your comfort level. About halfway is usually good. You want to have it support even with this. So, um, definitely recommend it for anyone. It just, you could wear this with an expensive dress. No one will ever know. Usually the first thing people look at on a person is their shoes, but, um, this All these everywhere. They're a popular pick. So I'd be surprised if you didn't go home with them. Alright, next up Bernie's big brown leathery and shoes by the company Echo ECCO. And there's some other info on the bottom printed bit, but I can't really see it now, but you can see the overall color. Very dark brown shoe. Um, from afar, it almost looks a bit black, kind of matching the bottom here. Um, but it is a simple, sturdy, bossy kind of shoe. <laughs> when they have usually a wide base, you see how it widens out here uh, a bit more than usual. Don't mess around with this person kind of shoe, especially the wide back here. Uh, but I am not quite a fan of this. I collect its dust pretty easily, but mm, it's still quite appealing to uh, crowd of many. I would say 30, 5, 40 and up. Yeah, that would be more appealing. And it gets kind of warm when you wear the shoes, so uh, just be mindful. Similar looking ones by Perry Ellis. They're more closer to the Sperry than the Echoes I just showed you. However, uh, these have a nicer, brighter, more cheerful sort of color to them. And the bottom is awesome. It's all spotted. It's my favorite. Um, they say a ratio has a unique. Almost in a sense, you can immediately tell what brand it's from. Uh, but the padding is great. This one doesn't really need a memory foam to it, as it already has its own kind of comforty support. And uh, it can stretch pretty well to suit to your foot. Oh, there's even padding on the top here. The only thing I don't like is you really have to pull. Overall, the colors are quite appealing. 
This matches the stitching, so it goes well together. It's really great. And it just feels like walking on a cloud when you wear this. So, highly recommend it. Shoe. And now we have these lovely lady shoes that are in a limey yellowy color with a belt buckle appeal on the front. You can't remove it but because it's a part of the shoe itself um, but they're just flats. I mean really flat. Um, I don't know from the side it kind of looks like a banana don't you think especially if you bend it just a bit like oh, banana shoes. <laughs> These are aerosols in the size 8 and simple plasticky kind of look. A bit of um, holes on the sides for the foot to, to breathe. Um, I would recommend wearing thin socks with these so you don't get the sticky kind of sweat feeling because they tend to stick to the bottom of the shoe um, and it damages the uh, material over time as well. Be mindful when you clean these as well. Uh, just try to use a wet sponge, not any harsh chemicals as it can start to peel. Um, but they can get dirty pretty fast, so also keep that in mind. These tend to get dirty pretty fast, so keep in mind not to wear them in grass or dirty places like construction sites and stuff. Alright, the last of the ladies shoes, and then there's one more men's pair of shoes. These are US Polo Association. They're like a minty green, pink, and gray shoe. Very spring color, runner's type of wear, but also every day, uh, not only just joggers. And they're extremely comfortable, extremely affordable, and extremely fashionable. And um, honestly, these are one of our best sellers last year, so um, I'd highly recommend it. The only reason they're on the clearance to begin with is because they were totally last year according to guidelines, so we try to restock our shelves with new shoes constantly, but honestly it's just the same thing, just like different things are changed up, like one year they may like suddenly remove this stripe. You know, it's all the same though. But uh, pink and gray bottom. Extremely flexible, comfortable shoe, stretches, fits. There's always usually with any shoe a flexibility in size in general. So if it's like a six, it could fit maybe a five or a seven, you know, sometimes. Um, this will look great when you change the uh, laces for sure. Um, and personally, I love a good shoe where you can just do the lace once and leave it alone and it just stays put no matter how much you use it. And finally, the last pair of shoes is this men's Solo. And uh, again, kind of a broad based, uh, firm, but yet fashionable sense type of shoe with a brown bottom and a black top. Um, these are actually faux leather. similar stitching as any other kind of shoe. Um, but there's something about it that just gives it that appeal. I would buy it myself if it was just a bit thinner here, like if it was just more tucked in here. Like less material here, you know. But a good kind kind of um, just worker, everyday worker shoe, you know. So what do you think? Were you interested in any of them? Okay, you'll have a look around that's just fine. Well, let me know at any time if you want me to pack these up for you and you'll be on your way. All right, I'm going to go organize these now.
see you soon then. Mm-hmm.